Hi, I'm William, and today we have a special treat for you agriculture guys. Okay, there actually is a gap, but you just can't see it. Very tiny, so we need to open this up a little more. Okay, so now I think uh, that's much better than what it was. Let's try it. There's only one way to do this. Welcome to Service Call, a mechanic's guide to service, troubleshooting, and repair. See, I'm not, I'm not sure if we have to pump this, kind of like a car, right? I don't think it's, it works like that. It's gravity fed, but let's see what happens. I didn't choke it. Oh, sorry. I mean, flooded. That's the word. Haven't heard that term in years. Okay. Let's just check this one more time. Okay, so we do have spark. Uh, but what I'm thinking is, if you look at this carburetor here, just look at the outside of it. Um, like I, I mentioned before, you know, it kind of, I assume the inside looks the same. And, and uh, all I'm doing is removing the, the plug out of the bowl to see if we can get a little bit of, maybe drain whatever fuel is in there. And allow the clean, the newer fuel to, to get in there. When you let... Uh, engines or, or fuel systems that are gasoline, when you let them sit for a long time, um, they actually create a, a varnish type, you know, there's gooey gum type stuff inside and it plugs everything, you see? So you can see, like, I removed the plug, but there's nothing coming out of the, uh, the fuel bowl. So that's telling me, like, everything's just plugged up inside, okay? You see, like, there's that, this is supposed to be fuel, eh? Okay? So you can see that it's just built up. Here, I'll try and stick something in there to see if we can get a little bit of fuel leaking out. There it is. Okay. It's going to leak a little bit of fuel. I'll put the plug back in. Okay, so there's there's a bunch of buildup in the fuel bowl. Okay, we leaked leaked out a little bit of uh, gasoline, but I have a feeling that uh, you know we're gonna eventually have to take apart the carburetor, you know, and uh, clean it up. In the carburetor, there's very tiny holes where, that allow some of them allow air to go in, just tiny bits, and uh, and the other ones that allow fuel to come in, you know, and that helps it for idle and things like that. It's very common when things sit for a long time, so. So when servicing air cleaner, make certain that ceiling surface at bottom of cleaner is cases properly, that element is properly centered and wing bolt firmly tightened, proper, cannot rotate it by hand. Okay, so I assume we just unscrew it feels really heavy. I don't know if that's normal or what. Okay, we'll check this. So you can see it's probably needs one. Okay, so we're only gonna do this just to try and start it, all right? We're not running the machine. Uh, we're not going to putting it to work yet. You know, we gotta, we're gonna take the, just in case it's plugged, that's why we removed it and uh, we'll start again. Okay, folks pulled out, let's crank it over. All right, let's have a look. Let's see what happens. It did spit, didn't it? It sputtered a little bit. Maybe that's a good sign. 
Tomasi Ferguson, I assume everything is uh, is imperial. Everything is just caked in dirt and dust. It's hard to see. Uh, go in all the way and maybe just give it two turns. Yeah, and we'll we'll get it back uh, back together and working again.